C4 transmission, which I've never personally rebuilt a transmission in my life, but I work on servo-driven hydraulics as a job, so challenge accepted. So it's for the obviously for the 65 Ford Falcon, uh, which is under a lot of projects right now, but uh, all due to the transmission. Uh, reverse band broke uh, sometime during our move to our new place, and... Um, the wife is getting tired of pushing me out backwards just to go for my joyrides, needless to say. So uh, it's time to get cracking to it. Got the motor and trans out. Um, was really hoping to make it to Holly uh, Hot Rod this year, um, but uh, definitely won't. Uh, the car's going to be out of commission a little bit. Um, got the transmission. Going to put in a new radiator, a larger radiator, uh, so better cooling. And then uh, installing a painless wiring harness. Um, uh, stay tuned, and we'll go from there. Thanks. <laughs> smell test right um, <laughs> it helps when I don't slam stuff down um, this washer actually looks pretty good we reuse that I'm gonna put that back there and then here is our problem child right here so as you guys can see it broke off this ear right here so on the wedge we push here, I have the other double wedge over with the servos, and that's, uh, it wasn't pressing evenly on it, so it wouldn't go in and to uh, engage in reverse. So that's the problem right here. I did order a kit. I'm a little concerned that it may or may not be the right one. Um, the only reason is because I saw a number on here, and it said 60, so automatically uh, I'm thinking, oh, 1960 C4, but that uh, apparently isn't correct according to some of the guys. Um, on some of the forums and such so uh, I have some homework to do uh, what's up guys uh, back to the rebuild here so obviously a uh, manual which I did buy ahead of time uh, I was smart for doing so um, duh forgot that I had had it so we ripped the transmission apart uh, right now like I said I was curious about that kit this is the kit that I've got um, just kind of vaguely looking at it um, just glancing over it I should say whatever everything looks to be okay Here's our reverse band, uh, which is what broke on the last one. Um, darn you, that's an idiot. But uh, anyways, hopefully get this back together here shortly, and uh, we'll let you know the results. Thanks. So go ahead and just uh, pulling these out of here real quick. Let's uh, let's take a look at these. All right, so we got our top piece there, retaining ring, yada yada, clutch band. Doesn't actually look too bad. Yeah, these ones look really good, actually. Yeah, these ones, pretty good shape. They look, I mean, like, like 
darn near brand new. There's a little bit there. Um, I'll get you in the light here just a little bit, but uh, yeah, otherwise, no, this one's pretty solid. So honestly, could even throw this one back in and I'll keep that spare as a set. So I think that's the plan. So, all right, I'm going to throw this one back in uh, and clean this up a little bit and start uh, reassembly, put that front seal on, and then, uh, yeah, go from there.